Hi everybody, welcome once again to Tim's Vinyl Confessions. I'm Tim Durling and thanks for tuning in. On this episode, it's a review episode of the most recent live release from the legendary Alice Cooper. Alice has re released a, a lot of live albums and DVDs in the last few years. And to be honest with you, they're the best ones. They're, they're the best live albums. In my opinion, his first live album from 77, The Alice Cooper Show. Good songs. Terrible performances. I've never enjoyed that album. Um, but this new, the band he's had for a few years, this core band, I think is really good. And they're really good at uh, tackling material from all over Alice's career. And that's what you get on this latest compilation. Uh, let's uh, I'll show it to you here. First, the vinyl version. It's called A Paranormal, Paranormal Evening with Alice Cooper at the Olympia in Paris. This is on EAR Music. And um, there's the hype sticker on it. Paranormal Evening means that it was. It's, this is the Paranormal Tour. It's his most recent studio album. And the side of this is actually written very similar to that album. If you uh, look at the episode that I did when I reviewed the Paranormal album, which I still, Paranormal album, which I still think is a really, really good, strong album. Now, unfortunately, he only does one song from this album on here, but makes up for it with the track listing. This is career spanning for Alice, and I like the fact that he highlights albums that aren't as well known. Obviously, you get the hits on here. You get the expected songs on here. I'm 18, School's Out, Billion Dollar Babies, Under My Wheels, No More Mr. Nice Guy, only Women Bleed, Poison, they're all here. It's well spread out, I might add. But uh, another thing, that, well, first of all, I go back, um, got into Alice around the year 2000. That was the year he released his album, Brutal Planet, and he had a really, really heavy sound at that time. It's got a lot of different sounds. And uh, saw the Brutal Planet tour, as well documented. If you've ever seen the Brutally Live home video that he put out, or DVD, that's what I saw. Fantastic performance. Could go into more detail about that show, but um, he opens this album. Subsequently, I'm guessing he opened the tour with the song Brutal Planet, and it really, really sounds good. Um, on every tour that Alice does, I think he picks at least one song that he knows is a very, very obscure track. The one, ones that only the diehard fans will know. I think that's a theme that he's done for the last several years. On the Brutal Planet tour... That space fell to the song, It's Hot Tonight, from Lace and Whiskey. Not a well-known song, but boy, it sounded good when he did it. I uh, saw Alice again in 2006 on the Dirty Diamonds tour, and that time around he did the song, Wish I Was Born in Beverly Hills, from, from the inside. On this one, he does one of my all-time favorite Alice tunes from one of my favorite albums, and it's the fifth track on here, Pain. Now, I like the version that they do on here. There's no piano in it like there is in the studio version. Studio version is from the Flash the Fashion album, which is one of my favorite Alice albums, even though it's from a really quirky, odd, uh, obscure period for him. But I, I would encourage anybody to check out the original if you've heard it here for the first time. Also, a period which in recent years doesn't get a lot of love, The World Needs Guts. That's from Constrictor. Now, I'm not a fan that much of that Kane Roberts era. He's a good guitar player. I just don't like Constrictor and Raise Your Fist and Yell all that much. And I hate the production on the, I'll be honest, I hate the production on the Constrictor album. I normally like Bow Hill's production, you know, Rat, Winger, um, but I don't like the way Constrictor, it sounds very, very dated. And that's the album that the song, He's Back, The Man Behind the Mask comes from. It's extremely dated. I like the version they do on here of The World Needs Guts. I've never been a big fan of the original version of Department of Youth from Welcome to My Nightmare. They do a kind of a fun, punky version of that on here. Um, Halo of Flies. That's a weird one I think Alice likes to throw in just to confuse his band members because it's, it's practically prog. It's a long song. It's got tons of time changes in it. Um, and the one song they do from the Paranormal album is Paranoic, Paranoic Personality. Also, he's continued to do the School's Out, Another Brick in the Wall mashup like he initially did. Uh, it's on the Hollywood Vampires album. He did it live before that. It works. Now, here's what the CD version looks like. It's like a, a negative of it. Slightly different image in uh, black, white, white, black. Again, this is on EIR Music. Um, no Blu-ray or DVD of this, at least as of yet, and I hope they rectify that. 
but um, yeah, that seems like kind of an oversight. It's got a good band now, and like I said, a good good spanning of Alice's career. And actually, as you're watching this, if this is when it premieres, this album was recorded just about a year ago. It was recorded at the Olympia in Paris, December seventh, twenty seventeen. And Alice is virtually, I mean, he's not immortal, but he's virtually indestructible. He still sings the way he's always sung, and he's uh, smart enough to keep good band members around him. So, you know, why why buy one more live album of a bunch of songs that you've probably got? Because it sounds good. So the latest Alice Cooper live album, Paranormal Evening with Alice Cooper, comes highly recommended from me. Thanks for watching Tim's Vinyl Confessions.